This is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to sync your Garmin XT to your uh, Explore app on your phone so you can keep all of your tracks and waypoints uh, synced up between your phone and the Garmin. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, install the uh, Drive app on your phone. Um, most devices will connect to Explore without the Drive app, but the XT doesn't, so get that uh, installed on your phone first. Uh, if you need any help with that, you can go to Garmin's site. They'll walk you through it. Um, you can check that you're connected there on your device, on your Garmin device, by just looking at uh, your phone connections. Whoops, and um, you'll see the little road thing there and it should be blue and that means the Garmin Drive is connected and that will allow you to use the Explore app on your GPS. Okay, so let's get right to it. Once you have those installed, you have to install the Explore app and you're going to want to, uh, well, you're going to have to sign into the Explore app, create an account, stuff like that, but you can just use your existing Garmin uh, information to do that. So. Uh, once that's all done, you can transfer things back and forth. Uh, and so I want to show you here on the the GPS so that you'll know that this track or this GPX isn't there yet. If you go to where to go, you go to explore, you come down to collections. Uh, and if we scroll down, I'm going to put a, a GPX on the Garmin called uh, Fredericksburg Dual Sport Ride. So if we go down to the F in here, you'll see that it's not there, correct? So if we go back, we have everything you know, ready to go. We, uh, we go to our GPX file, and you can get that GPX file on your phone however you want to send it. You can send it uh, mail, you can text it, you can Bluetooth it from another phone, however you get it, you, know, you, can, you can send it to your phone. Uh, via mail from um, from Garmin Basecamp. Just get that uh, GPX file on your phone. Uh, I, I'm going to do it from a text, so I'll go to the text here. You'll see that that's the Fredericksburg Dual Sport Ride. Uh, if you click on that on the iPhone and then uh, click on this little arrow down here, you'll have an option of where, what to open it up with. I'm going to open it up with the Explore app, okay? So I open it up there, it says that it's been transferred and it's successfully imported and a collection it's created. So that's done. Now it, you know, technically it should be on the web right now, but just to make sure that it's not just in the app on the phone and on the web, I like to go to my library, uh, look at uh, my files and see if it's there. Okay, so it shows that it's there. Then I go to account and I hit sync account up here and that's going to sync it to the web. You'll see it look it, it popped up down there. So you're making sure that that's to the web. Now as long as you have cell service this is going to work. It'll work out in the field as long as you have cell service. Um, so once that's all done you go back to your uh, your GPS. Usually I like to go to the gear icon here and make sure that I've synced explore with the GPS. It says it's synced, so if we go back here, go to Collections, come down, and you should see the Fredericksburg Dual Sport Ride. Very cool, huh? So you click on that, then you can see all of the you know, tracks and waypoints that are included with that GPX. Now watch what happens if we go back to, um, we go back to Explore on the phone, we go to our library, we click on the Dual Sport, the Fredericksburg Dual Sport, and we delete it from here. From the web, delete, and then we go back and let's sync it up again, make sure it's synced. Okay, it says it did. So then if we go back here and we sync this back again, technically it should all be gone off the GPS. So go back to our collections, come down to the F and it's gone. So this is a great way to keep your device synced between your device and your phone. I don't, I don't think a lot of people are using this and it's really a great feature of the GPS. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this tip helps out.